So I like to change sometimes my background image so that I can get some fresh view in FL Studio. So let's jump into FL Studio so that I can show you what I mean. So this is the normal, actually this is not the normal background as you can see here. This is kind of a fence or a grid that I have here, but it's very simple to change your background image. You just go to view and down here in layout, we have background. And then we have here a set of options. We can set the image wallpaper. We can set dynamic wallpaper or a HTML document. Let's say that you have some, uh, you can also set some animations or, or some stuff like that with HTML. And you can bring that up here into the background so that it has a dynamic feeling about it. It moves or something like that. That could also be a nice option for that. And you can also set the background color. So let's first start with the background color. And uh, let's go with a very bright color, like maybe green, this, this lime or something like that if i do accept you see that now this is kind of kind of hard actually to see looks like a blue screen or a green screen that is used in um in video production so let's go here let's go to set image wallpaper and as you can see in this um path uh, uh, fl studio automatically sends you to the path where they have a bunch of uh, image already prepared for you so the one that i told you was this one this is the fence that i have here and if we go here we can set whatever image i have one image that i created for daily beats that i use also uh, regularly there's also uh, some other ones here with the the dancing lady uh, in fl studio and what else let's see maybe this one as you can see there's this one is actually nice, a light bulb with FL Studio. This is a cool one. I like this one. So you can also uh, download uh, background images for free. For instance, one, one website that I use a lot is called Pixabay. And uh, for instance, this is the website and you could um, take pictures from this one. They are free to use for both commercial, commercially and per, uh, personally. So you could use maybe background or something like that. And you see there's a bunch of background images here that you can just use and you can get some, some inspiration. There's also some music stuff here. Let's do music search. And as you can see, this could also give you some inspiration when you open up FL Studio. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good resource for images overall. And there's a bunch of images here. So one thing that I like to do to 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 one of the reasons why I like to do this is because uh, you can also set your um, what's the word that I'm looking for your brand stuff like I have here for instance daily beats. Uh, this could also be a background. So every time that I open FL Studio, I have this here to remind to remind the the. the um, the brand of daily beats so this is one actually that i'm going to keep in for the next for the next uh, couple of days weeks months i don't know let's see how it goes